Hey guys, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing a plan with me in my Hobonichi cousin planner. And this is going to be a weekly spread because this planner has um, a monthly, weekly, and daily pages. So I'm going to be using a kit from my shop called Ocean Air. And it is just a fun, beachy, summery kit. And I just really love the colors because they're kind of like more subtle, not like a bright summer kit. And this is in silver foil. So first, as always, I'm just doing the base of the spread. So putting down bottom washi and the date headers, date covers, and I'll do the sidebar and the full boxes and then some pretty decorative headers at the top. And I chose this kit. It, um, we have not gone to the beach since we lived in California, which is now two years ago. And we're really sad about it. And we should have made a priority to go to the beach this summer. But we had other summer plans. And beach is not that close to where we live here in Virginia. It would be an all-day thing or like a weekend trip or something. So we had thought about going this weekend. But we decided it was too much for like a last-minute trip, but I am dreaming of the beach through this kit. So I was just showing you the full box. It says the beach and warm weather is all I really need. And it's what I need. No, no, just kidding. Um, there are things I love about the beach and then there's obviously things that I don't love like sand and, <laughs> and the salt water. I don't like being salty. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, this is just a fun summer kit. And uh, on the side, I am just putting a full box down. And then I like to put this weekly check box for my meals, like for dinner. I like to put the dinner that we have every day just so I can look back on it when I'm meal planning and see what we had and if anything sounds good from those previous weeks. And then the habit tracker, I'm tracking my vitamins and I'm going to go in at the end of the video to fill this out. I'm not sure why I didn't just fill it out now. I wait till the very end, which is fine, but I just am getting my sidebar all set up and then I am going to lay down the full boxes and I just like to lay them down sporadically throughout the week. And you will see later that I kind of move these full boxes, but I decided to lay them down because I will forget to use them <laughs> if I don't lay them down now. And then also I just kind of like to position them in a spot that I think would be best before I actually start planning. So there are only six full boxes in this kit for the Hobonichi just because it is a smaller weekly kit. So I didn't think you need eight. I don't do the, uh, well, nine, I guess there's nine in my weekly kits normally, but in this one, I just do six. And for me, that's plenty. I don't like having them every day throughout the week in this planner but I'm already moving them as you can see and my sticker paper isn't removable but if you do try to take them off like slowly then they'll come off pretty nicely they I didn't rip any of them the pages when I was taking them off and these headers are from Sadie stickers and I just like to put them at the top between the date 
covers and uh, the weekly column just because I think it adds something pretty and then there's not like a huge space in between. And I do trim these down because these are actually made for like the one and a half width boxes, but that's totally fine. I have no problem trimming them down, which I normally do with most headers anyway for the Hobonichi Cousin Kit. I mean, planner. And I also think this is a good idea if you are uh, trying to prep your pages for the week is just to get down this base of how you normally plan just so it's ready for the week. And you could actually do this like weeks at a time just to help you because if you're like me, I get behind in my planning and it's sometimes hard to sit down and take, you know, however long it takes sometimes it can take you know an hour to plan decoratively so it is nice to just have a certain way of how you like your stickers to be and I think it really helps when you prep your pages and that's kind of well I just turned the page and you saw that was empty but I did prep it <laughs> I just didn't actually complete it but I will go back and do that and at the top of these columns I just like to kind of have a cohesive top of, I don't know how to explain it. I mean, you've seen it in my other plan with me's, but I just like to have it look a little cohesive at the top so it doesn't start off kind of random every day. So I just use these florals and the decorative shapes, and I'll just put something like either that I'm something in the morning that has happened or I don't know sometimes I just find things to write because it's really not that important what goes up there <laughs> I just like it to look uh, cohesive but uh, I think we're finally getting into planning here so the first thing is this week was very work heavy I'm not getting into planning <laughs> but these are this week uh, script stickers from letters to Apollo. I'm not sure if she still has them. I think she still has scripts or she brings them back every now and then. Uh, but her script is really pretty. But what I was saying was this week was really work heavy for me. I had a ton of designing to do for my shop since I had new releases and I actually took on probably too much because it just kind of overtook my whole week and I didn't get to do everything I needed to do for the shop. The main priority was design work. I uh, came out with four new collections on Friday. So each collection can take hours upon hours, especially the full boxes, because that's the most creative part of the kit that you're trying to create scenes. And it just, I like mine to try to be unique and different. So when you're coming up with four kits that's nine 36 different scenes and so it was just a lot of time each day was spent solely on that so you will see that this is a little bit work heavy but I did try to include other things we did and so first on Monday I did write morning routine just because that was the first thing I did this morning my kids are still on spring break so we aren't back into school yet we're still on summer schedule uh, so I get up and get ready with my husband while he gets ready for work and my kids sleep in. They are older, so they sleep in later so I can get a good chunk of work done in the morning uninterrupted. And so the first thing I worked on that morning was packaging orders. So I got them all ready to be mailed out and then I worked on the next orders. So I went through and just prepped them as in pulled all the stickers that I already had on hand for those orders and then made a print list of everything I needed to print to get those orders uh, completed. And then actually my husband came home really early that day. There was a tornado watch here in I say Florida. <laughs> or I'm not in Florida, I'm in Virginia. And so we had a tornado watch that day which was a lot different. I've never had that. We, like I said, are from California, so definitely never have experienced that. And um, 
his office was at home around 1 30 because I think the storm was coming in around five ish and it was he worked outside of Washington DC but since Wash they had to give employees in Washington DC time to get home they sent home you know most go- like all government jobs I think so he was sent home early and uh, I kept working while he was I don't know what he was doing here he always has a to-do list that he does too but we we did go and drop off the orders together at the post office before the storm came and we picked up some crumble cookies since it was right by the post office and then we watched the Denmark versus Australia Women's World Cup that is also going to be very heavy this week. There were a lot of soccer games going on. And if you've been following me, you know I'm into soccer and we have been watching the World Cup. Let me know if you have been watching too, or even if you just watched one game, let me know if you've been into that also. And then moving on to Tuesday, I had created a chore list for my kids for the summer. And I think I did a little too much. It was a little bit overwhelming. I think uh, my kids are older. They are preteens and my daughter's a teenager. And so they are very self-sufficient and capable of doing things. And, you know, I'm trying to keep them on routine, giving them a little bit of structure during the summer. So I did come up with a summer chore list type thing. But like I said, a little overwhelming. So I started just on the back of what I laminated was just wrote down the basic and the most important things that I wanted them to do. So I got that ready in the morning. So when they came down from uh, their rooms that they had that list already for them. And then I wrote this uh, fill out paperwork and it was the wrong day. I am looking at my Moxie Life daily planner to look at what happened every day because I am back planning and I was looking at the wrong day. So I am taking that off and I am putting down a work sticker because that is what I did, <laughs> not filled out that paperwork. Uh, I, again, spent most of the day working, uh, printing, I printed for those new orders that needed to be filled and then was designing a bunch. And these laptop girls are from Paper Panda Design. And then I just put it on a swatch sticker from the kit. And also that solid header that was above that full box was from my shop. It was, I think it was like a $2 Tuesday that I had done like a while ago. And um, I just still have them. So I just use that. And then I'm going to use these arrows. This was a freebie when I first came up with these, but they are now in my shop. You can get them foiled or not foiled, but I just like these because they mark that a bigger chunk of time was taken for an, you know, a task or for whatever you need it for. And so I just wrote I, that I printed and designed and I guess I don't like where that is, so I'm moving it. <laughs> and then this is some whiteout that is cream colored because the Hobonichi Cousin paper is like a cream color. It's not true white. So I got that from Amazon, which is a little bit nicer. So if you see it, it's not as like different from the paper. And then I am going to grab an Amazon sticker. These are from Exo Mama Plans. I really like her stickers and I'm just going to take that and put it on a label. And I was ordering some specific shipping supplies because I was wanting to do something special. For this week's new releases. Again, I bit off more than I could chew for this week's new releases, so I didn't promote them properly <laughs> because I was so busy creating them. But I wanted to do like a really pretty packaging, and I'm still planning on doing it because I bought it. But you guys will not know until you order, or unless maybe I'll I'll fill an order and show you guys the packaging but it's basically just like vellum and then like a pretty ribbon hopefully it turns out well it's in my mind it looks pretty good uh those are the things that i wanted to buy specifically for this new release and then i just pulled a doodle from paper shire this was just like a 
I can't even think of what you call it. Just like a sheet that has a bunch of different kinds of icons. And I pulled a grocery, like a grocery basket. So we went to Costco. Did we go to Costco? Yeah, we went to Costco that day and got some groceries. And so I'm just labeling that. And I usually pull like suits for my kits when I plan. And so some of these weren't coiled properly. That's why they were oops. So I'm just taking this confetti sheet. This was also a freebie, but they are in my shop too, in like a bigger sheet. And I'm just kind of putting it where the foil, it should have been foiled, but it didn't foil properly. So I'm just putting it on there. And then I'm doing another label to write clean out pantry because after we came home from Costco, I, you know, put the groceries away and the pantry stuff and the pantry needed to be cleaned out a little bit, lots of boxes and stuff. So I had to pull those all out and clean it out to make room for new stuff. And that bow, I believe, was from Sadie Stickers. I love those little bows just to add them to icons. I think it they're just really cute. And then I'm taking these foiled arrows. These are from my newest addiction. I'm not sure if she still has those. They're older, but they're really cute. I love them. And I'm just writing test inspection from 8 to 10. We have been dealing with a few bugs and so we just wanted like a pest control to come out and see what we can do and so that was the time that they were coming that day and then I just wrote a number routine they wanted to break up stickers and now I'm using the that like it's like a paper and quill sticker from paper shire and then I'm writing fill out paperwork because I needed to get some paperwork for the doctor since we were taking the kids to their you know annual physical and she needed some paperwork well I had to get like a sports form for high school and my son's immunization records for them and stuff like that and then I also had to get some soccer paperwork done for tournaments that are coming up so that took like an hour with printing filling out sending pictures blah 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 know all that stuff so next I took this design box which is from Samantha May sticks I'm not sure if she is still open but I've had these stickers for a long time and I just put a floral behind it in a row I designed full boxes that day and was a lot of designing that day too but it was in between a lot of stuff that I had going on that day um his appointments and that the pest control coming, the paperwork, all the personal stuff that was going on. So I did get a chance to get some of that done before we had to leave to go to the doctor. And then I'm just taking one of the arrows from the kit and putting that confetti over it because it didn't foil properly. And then one of these stethoscopes from Let's See Highly Designs are really cute. And I'm just writing kids' doctor appointment. It was nice because I was able to take them both together. And then afterwards, when we do something like that, I like to take the kids and go get something fun. And so I think it was Starbucks last day of like half off cold drinks. So we decided to do that and the kids got fraps. So I'm just marking that. And again, that's from a paper shire sheet, like that same sheet. It just had, it was a sampler. That's the word, sampler sheet. And then of course I have to add a bow because it's cute. And then afterwards, I came home and I worked more. I think I got dinner ready when it was time. And then my son had soccer practice and my husband took him. But I still like to mark the practice. And I think it jumped. I think it because I had been having the camera on for so long that it stopped recording. <laughs> so I just put in that he had practice, but I kept working. And I worked late until after midnight that day because, you know, I had a ton of work to do and I needed stay up late to get this stuff done so that's what I did there moving on to Thursday um I'm just gonna put wash hair I don't even know if I did wash my hair that day <laughs> but I just I think I did but I'm just putting it just to put something because I don't want to put morning routine or you know 
get dressed, take shower every single day. I did not work out this week at all. So I can't put that because I was so busy getting design work done that I just, I didn't, which is not good, <laughs> but, um, that was my priority this week. So we washed the hair and then we got to work. <laughs> so I'm just putting another laptop girl down with a swatch box and then a bow. I don't think I told you where these bows were from. They're from Clever Gal Crafts and I love her bows. They're so pretty. They come in a million different colorways. They are awesome. I love them. And then we're just doing another arrow and basically, seriously, you guys, this was like 12 to 16 hour work days <laughs> just designing and you know being on the computer which I mean obviously I don't recommend this and um but it's what needed to be done this day this week so this is what I did and so I just wrote lots of designing because it ended up being like over 80 sheets of design work and I don't know why I do that to myself, <laughs> but I really do love everything that I created. The four kits are so beautiful. They're all fall kits and I really love them. If you haven't seen them, you can check them out on my shop or on my Instagram. I've been showing them and I just think they look so good. So if you are still looking for fall kits, I mean, I know it's August, but I guess you would be looking for fall kits now, right? So I do have six fall kits in total in my shop now but four of them are brand new and then I did we have canes because also when I am busy like this I there's no time to make dinner okay <laughs> I cannot do it that's something else that just gets dropped um so my husband ended up bringing home canes I don't know if you guys have a canes we had canes in California and they just built one that's kind of close to our not really it's still like 30 minutes away, but close to my husband's work kind of, and then he brought it home. So, uh, that was nice that they built that close enough. I mean, obviously closer than being in a different state. <laughs> so, um, that's fun to have that restaurant close to us now. Uh, we really like pain. It's a chicken place. If you didn't know, basically they only have chicken, chicken, waffle, chicken, waffle, no chicken. I was gonna say waffle fries. Is it waffle fries? No, I think it's crinkle fries. Anyway, chicken, fries, they give you garlic bread. It's kind of like Zaxby's, which they have Zaxby's here too, which we don't find very good. Like we think it's okay. So let me know. Do you guys like Canes or Zaxby's? Or do you guys know something else that's like that? I mean, I know Chick-fil-A, but that's a little different because they're known for like their chicken sandwiches. And then, I, sorry, I'm like just chatting here, <laughs> but then we watched uh, Spain versus Netherlands soccer game. And then I had another late night after midnight. It might have been 1.30. I can't remember, but it was late. Because normally I have my new releases done by 11 a.m. And that just was not the case. I still had another kit I wanted to design. So I had to work on that first thing on Friday morning. So I knew new releases would be late. But I just was like, you know, it just is what it is. So on Friday, I wrote morning routine, which just meant shower, rest, start work. <laughs> so that's what I did. And I think I just moved that full box again. I can't remember. But I put another laptop girl with a bow and just wrote design. And then I had to create all the listings. So it's like, yeah, designing's done. But now I got to create the listings, which I have to make every sticker sheet into PNGs and then uh, create the listing. I'd use PicMonkey. I know a lot of people use like Canva and they tell me to move on to Canva, but I just, right now I can't like deal with figuring out another program. So I'm just sticking with PicMonkey right now, what I know. And so I design all my work in that, like my listings and graphics and stuff. I had to do all that. And then I'm just taking this what do you call this? Looks like a door, but I know that's not a shape. Whatever shape this is. And I put some florals and then I use a new release grip sticker from 
Rose Color Days, who is still a shop, but she does not do script stickers like that anymore. I think that was a custom like years ago that I had her do. And then I'm putting another label down, and you guessed it, with another soccer game from Women's World Cup. This one was Japan versus Sweden, and these games are now pretty old. Not old, but I, I'm going to do a spoiler. So if you don't want to listen, fast forward like 20 seconds. But Japan lost, and Japan was like my daughter's favorite, well, one of her favorite teams that she really wanted to see go all the way. So she was really sad about it. And so Sweden moved on. And moving on to Saturday, I did sleep in a little bit. What is sleeping in to you guys? What would you... Sleeping in, I think we woke up at like 8, 8.15, something like that. That's sleeping in. <laughs> and it's not even because kids wake me up. It's just I just can't sleep in that late anymore. Not that I want to either. I, I do want a day, like my Saturday. I want to get stuff done and be awake and do what I want to do. But um, we got up and we ran a couple errands. We went and got Chick-fil-A coffee instead of Starbucks because we were a little bit uh, sick of Starbucks. So we did Chick-fil-A. And if you guys haven't tried their coffee, it's pretty good. Uh, we like the vanilla one. Um, but yeah, it's good and it's cheaper than Starbucks. So we went and picked that up and then we went and got the car washed because it's right by Chick-fil-A. And then we came home and I needed to watch, I needed, I wanted to watch the England game. So while we had that on, because this is a big time commitment when you watch these games, okay, they can be over two hours if they go into overtime and then PKs. Oh, quite a few of these games did. So uh, while we were watching that, I walked on the treadmill. So if I can get some walking in, then I will do that. And I think I walked on it for an hour. So that was pretty good. And I did that while we watched the game. And another spoiler, you guys, England won, <laughs> which I really like England. I think they're a favorite. But um, yeah, I really like that team. The one of the team, one of the girls did something that was not okay against another team. And I don't condone that, but um, I feel like you can't have one player represent the whole team. So anyway, uh, then Ben and I went and had a lunch date. We went to a sushi restaurant and we got there like right before they were closing. You know how some close and then reopen for dinner. We didn't know that they were doing that. So we had like 20 minutes. But it was fine. We knew what we wanted. It was a place we visit right. Well, we started visiting. We've gone a few times. So it was really good. And then I came home and I needed to do the print test because I did not do those for the new releases. So I wanted to be able to show you guys what they actually look like, you know, in real life. So I started printing and cutting those. And then Ben was like, why don't we go to the soccer field? And I was like, yes. Yeah let's go. And it was in the evening. So it was cooling down and the kids have been needing to get out. So I'm not going to choose work over stuff like that. So we went to a park that is close to our house and did some drills with the kids, some shooting. I did an Instagram story if you saw, but it was a really pretty evening. The sunset was gorgeous and I did not get any bug bites realized that I was expecting to wake up with bug bites and I didn't have any so that is a huge plus yay and then we went to dessert after and there is a yogurt place called sweet frog here we are used to yogurt land on the west coast but they don't have that over here they have sweet frog which we don't think is as good as yogurt land but yesterday it was pretty good they had like a cotton candy one my daughter got and then they actually had a pumpkin bread batter one and I got that and it was actually pretty good I haven't gotten anything that's been fall um, related but since they had it I wanted to try it so I thought it was good Sunday we what was today uh 
this morning we got up and we like to go and hang out on our deck in the morning just because it's you know cooler and shade out there and we usually will like drink coffee or I'll take my planner out there and plan the day or the week or whatever I need to do so we did that before the kids woke up actually I needed to work I took a shower like right when I got out of bed so I was already ready for the day but I needed to work and print a bunch of stuff and I planned my week or I started to at least. And then you guys, I, I had to print so much stuff that I was in the office for a while. And then I'm still, I was filming, filming this video and that these film scripts are from Exo Mama Plans. And I really like those. And that girl is from Pumpkin Paper Co. who is not a shop anymore. Um, and now I'm filling out the side. I'm just filling out what I needed to do this week, which was all that paperwork that I had talked about earlier, just the different things I needed to get done and fill out and all that, you know, parent stuff, which is always a lot of fun. And then just filling out vitamins, which I took every day. So that was good. And then I'm just filling out what we had for dinner. And like I said, this was a little bit heavier on takeout, which is not normal. But since I was really busy, just did not have the time. I think one, two, three, four, four things we ate at home, and then three. So that's not bad, actually. Only three night, three times this week. Not too bad. But yeah, I hope. Well, I'm gonna zoom it out. And show you guys. I'll fill out the rest of that a little bit later, like when I'm done tonight. But here's the foil, so pretty. I love it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.